because when we see you know positions of the hands when we see this type of uh, super enthusiastic but not so controlled movements right when we see the manifestations of spasticity and so on, we have two ways of looking into it right so you see the, the standard medical perspective would be to to blame everything onto some specific damages in the brain declare that all these are mistakes and the wrongs by the brain and that only the forceful external intervention is the source of possible correction and if it fails or delivers limited results well we are not to blame those external interventions because without them things would have been really really terrible and we just cannot allow this to happen so we have to interfere right although of course the uh, facts are very different so which are coming from those GMFCS studies which are kind of pointing out that well without the medical in interventions um, the outcomes are actually more or less the same so which kind of brings this entire industry of heavy interferences and heavy uh, intrusions and kind of everything that goes under the label of early interventions into some serious question marks and potentially opens the road for this next question and the next question is so how do we interpret the current situation so if it's a mistake right so you see it's a mistake if it's a wrong doing right so you see that's one thing so the brain is broken in that sense and then we have another way of looking at the same situation so when we are looking at the errors right so you see there's a big difference between the wrongdoing and the error so because the wrongdoing is a broken thing the error is a system that is working that is doing its best but facing some challenges and resistances or imperfections in terms of the way how their available executive system delivers right so you see in other words the brain does it the necessary good best thing but because of this catastrophe or this, this sort of uh, the challenges which occurred at the at birth time and at the, as, as a result of the brain injury and so on the brain has to deal with the desperate type of the responses of the body so everything is meaningful everything is actually based on the brain doing its best and looking for the healing process but our job then is not to blame the brain but actually help the brain by insourcing more of the qualities into the body so helping with the connections like the deeper not so fundamentally electrified connections right so that the brain would be able to take care of so that is really important thing so and that's what the entire abr concept is based on that we are working at everything which is under electrified right because in that sense if we talk about the connection between the central nervous system right the central nervous system is sending electric impulses to the muscles right so and why we are so keen on the conversation about the fascia because oh everything else all the other elements of the anatomy and the musculoskeletal system be it ligaments to a great extent tendons joint capsules retinacular and so on and so on and all the way to the fundamentals of the skin and fat these are not very electrified elements right so you see that's the brain doesn't have the opportunity to control them very specifically because they are supposed to be run on this kind of built-in automatic uh, anatomical intelligence which normally kind of evolves during their in utero 
process, right, when during the pregnancy, the fetus and embryo development, and then over the first months of life. So, and that's why what we are expecting, we're expecting the opposite. We're expecting that, okay, if we start helping the body, especially the under electrified right so it's in the non-electric parts of the body right with the additional quality stimulus and rebuilding then the brain is going to say thank you very much now my errors in my best efforts my errors are going to reduce and the overall you know quality is going to improve and to make this image kind of clear for you right so, so this is one of the pictures that we always uh, use in the webinar so that's a very informative thing right so that's a bit gruesome but you can see here so that's the uh, basic cross-section of uh, the tissues right so you see that's the muscle tissue and that's the muscle tissue which is the only one that has the direct electrical exchange with central nervous system that's why historically this has been seen as the main leader of everything and all the concepts spasticity rigidity and so on and so on they come from it right and then like when the total thing doesn't perform then the blame goes to the muscle right and in the abr we're asking this basic question so when you look at the troubles with movement troubles with posture troubles with positions transitions and so on well is it just the muscle or actually is this the total thing that responds you know are we excluding the skin fat deep fascia and the periosteum connections to the bone from this system of course we shouldn't because they are mechanically essential in this entire system right so that's really what we do so our job is to address those elements which are under electrified right under signalized if you wish right which are very much autonomous but due to that catastrophe of the early period of life or some genetic troubles and so on so which were the ones that didn't form enough 